Hello. Hello. Let's see if anyone will come in today. Let's wait for five minutes before we get started. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> Hello, is anyone there? <laughs> Hello, friends. Good to be with you here again today. Yeah. Let's wait. Let's wait, maybe before the routine will. Yeah, yeah, we've got one person. Hello. Hello <laughs> Thank you for watching. <laughs> so let's wait for maybe one or two people, then we start. Yeah. Okay. We're just going to start, start immediately. Okay. Yeah. Um Okay. Um so thank you all for for joining in today. <laughs> yeah. Um like we started doing a book review yesterday. Yes. On uh, this book by Pastor Sandra Delager, Money Won't Make, Make You Rich. rich. Um, we really covered um, some good parts of the book. Yeah. And um, we want to thank everybody for their comments and mm -hmm. those that joined in. Yeah. And the response has been really fantastic. Yeah. So today we are, if you haven't seen the, the other video, mm -hmm. is on, uh, is on, uh, on, on YouTube. Yeah. Or, <clears throat> excuse me, you can go to to lovers of praise yeah and uh, you can click and then watch the 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 the, the, the other video there the first video yes so because we are starting from where we yeah where we stopped yesterday yes okay yeah so um today we are um, if you've got the book yeah. money won't make you rich yeah if you if you have the book we are on page 29 yes <laughs> um so we can just go uh, through it together like i said um the reason the the reason we're doing this is because we have as a family as a couple we have yeah. um seen the benefits yes of um, this book mm -hmm. and some of the principles that the book is teaching yes and um, we kind of want to uh, share these principles with yeah. uh, everyone out there, yes. so we can all apply the principle, the principles, grow together, mm -hmm. um, and um, make a difference. Really, to make a difference in uh, in people's lives. Yes. Um, statistics is showing up everywhere. The poverty. Mm -hmm. in the world um the challenges that people are facing yeah and then um, if we can give a little contribution by sharing good information mm -hmm. that will make a difference in somebody's lives and mm -hmm. then somebody's life and then that person will make a difference in another in another person's life and you know it continues like that yeah. <clears throat> excuse me so today we are going on uh, the culture Mm. of savings and investment yeah so in this book um it talks about the key points about um savings and investment culture mm -hmm. we have to build up this um savings culture isn't it because mm -hmm. most times we are kind of being being carried away yeah <laughs> <clears throat> the first thing it mentioned here is that um um keep some part of your earnings for your future that is, mm. be pay yourself second principle. Mm -hmm. Um, we we you remember yesterday we we talked about pay yourself, mm -hmm. making a decision that when your salary comes around, mm -hmm. you have already uh, decided mm -hmm. the percentage yeah. that we go straight to your account 
yes. if a, a separate, it's maybe a second or a separate account. Yes. That is not to be touched. Yes. So Pastor Sunday recommended a minimum of 10%. Mm -hmm. Between 10 and 20% of your salary should be for yourself. Yeah. Um, like you said yesterday, set it's something set aside for the rainy day. Yeah. <laughs> because <laughs> you know, you never know. Yeah. Exactly. So, um, that's the the first key here to keep part of your earning earnings for your future. Mm -hmm. The second key is ten to fifty percent of your salary should go to work for you. Mm. Money in the purse is only gratifying to the soul. Hmm. So put more of your money into your savings plan and less in your purse for immediate and easy spending. Wow. So, you know, like following up, mm -hmm. you know, any money you, you're able to put aside, at the end of the day, that is your, that is your, your money because the other ones that you use mm. to, um, you know, sort, sort things out, it's uh, not really yours. It's just... Uh, on a journey, really. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the money on the on the, yeah. on the journey. Yeah. Um, yeah. So the third one is uh, learn to live according to your purse. Hmm. That is what you eventually have left after saving, say, your savings plan. Mm -hmm. And learn to live on less than your salary. Mm. What is he talking about here? Learn to live less than your salary. So now, if... You, you 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 are earning like a thousand pounds mm -hmm. then when you have um paid your tithes and then paid yourself mm -hmm. and the percentage you've decided mm -hmm. which could as pastor said was say, said in the in this book a minimum of 10 percent yeah of your salary should be for yourself hmm. for paying yourself mm -hmm. and if possible just like have a like a direct debit that's you know that money doesn't even come to your to, to you first before you go and pay it. It just like goes off. Yeah. To the, that second account. Okay, yeah. and that means it will not like um affect you. You won't even know when you are saving. Yeah. So it's really helpful, really. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 You, you won't. You won't feel. <laughs> you won't like, feel it. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because it's going direct. It's not because at times money can be so tempting. Yeah. When it gets to your hands and yeah. you you just feel you find it difficult to to, <laughs> to keep it aside. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's that's really good. Yeah. So if 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 after you've done all that, then mm -hmm. maybe what you have left, mm -hmm. like I was giving an example, with a thousand pounds or a thousand dollars. Yeah. No, you don't know any currency that in your in the country where you live. Mm -hmm. So, although you are earning a thousand pounds, but because you've made the decision mm -hmm. to, um, because you've made the decision, yeah, to pay your tithe and then put you know pay yourself. Mm -hmm. What you are now looking at is like you are working as if your salary is six hundred pounds. Wow. Mm -hmm. So every other thing mm -hmm. that you're doing, you're budgeting, you are budgeting on what is left from those these initial um, engagements, mm -hmm. initial uh, uh, sort of uh, 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 obligation yeah. that you have created for yourself. Wow. And one day I was listening to Pastor Matthew preaching and he says that uh, he, has, he has found out that the, the, if you have a higher salary, yeah. You kind of begin to spend more. Mm -hmm. It's true. Than what you were spending mm -hmm. when you were on a lower income. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we, we, it's kind of the more you earn, the more you kind of spend. Mm -hmm. And in that way, we are not becoming wealthier. Mm. But you kind of, though you are earning more money, but you're still spending more money. Mm -hmm. right? you, there's no difference, really. Yeah, yeah. But for example, mm. um, if you are spending, maybe you are earning higher mm -hmm. and you were able to control yourself, yeah. uh, you know, to keep, the, you know, what you are earning, maybe, how do I put it now? Like when you are earning low income, yeah. 
okay mm. you're able to you know afford you know afford so many things that you can afford yeah okay now if you can be able to um keep it at that, level, at that level even if you are even if more. you are earning more yeah wow that's that will really help yeah. you you can really uh save a lot yeah yeah. So in that case now your yeah. portfolio is growing. It's growing, yes. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless if you want to treat yourself, yeah. maybe yeah. But at times, do you know what happened? At times with us, mm. when we are any um maybe higher. higher, we just want to buy big car, you know, um designer uh, um, dresses. dresses, bars, and all that. Mm. You know, it, it you know. <laughs> Yeah, you it, understand? It, yeah, yeah. So, if we can, like, curtail, you know, still maintain our how do lifestyle, lifestyle mm -hmm. when we are still earning low income mm -hmm. and when we are still, we can really, you know, save mm -hmm. a, a lot of money, money yeah. you know. Yeah. So, it's, it's really good and it's a matter of being... Um, how do I discipline? Put it? Discipline, discipline in fact, yeah. yeah. Mm. Discipline, yeah. yeah. And then yeah. It, it comes to it comes to especially if we like marriage marriage couples. Yeah. Um it's always good to <laughs> you know <laughs> yeah. you know, you know, sort things out together. Mm -hmm. Because uh, you know, if if a, a man for instance is trying to on his own head mm -hmm. is you know, has this all these plans and uh, mm. and then you know the wife is not involved and then uh, you know maybe the wife we ask for something say well before you know you start telling lies mm. or that i don't have money but really you have yeah. money you've got some money yeah but it's very very important yeah for the family for for the for the marriage for mm -hmm. the relationship to mm -hmm. kind of you know have mm -hmm. proper conversation yeah um not that it's a journey mm -hmm. that you are in in, in together mm -hmm. So you discuss these things together. Yeah. So by the time you are not doing it, everyone knows that we have a plan. Yeah. And before you know it, when you build up a portfolio and mm -hmm. become a millionaire, like our pastor was is indicating here, how easy it is to become one. One, yeah. yeah all of you, we, we enjoy it together. You yes, know what I mean? Exactly, yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's the third point here is to learn to live according to your purse. Mm -hmm. Learn yeah. to live. Don't live above your means. Hmm. Hmm. Don't live above your means. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Because sometimes, um, you know, the, it might not, you might not really, really, really mm. need some certain things. Yes. But it's maybe pe what we call peer pressure. Yeah. Um, everyone else is doing it, doing it <laughs> buying a big car. Mm. Uh, I have to buy a big car to belong or to show off mm. or all these things. Hmm. And then when you go to the petrol station to buy petrol, you are crying <laughs> <laughs> because some you know the, the 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 petrol is is taking almost you know all your money away. Yeah. You know it, it's just it's just it's not worth it mm -hmm. to be honest with you. Yeah. And uh, the the fourth point, uh, if you just joining us, we are doing a book review on the book by Pastor Sandra Delaja, Money Won't Make You Rich. Yeah. Uh, like we said, the book we find some key principles that has been helping us, and mm. we believe it can, it help. can help you too. Mm. So we want to make a difference to make in people's lives. Yeah. So we all grow together yes. and uh, make a difference in people's <laughs> lives. Yeah. Now the fourth point here is don't be in a hurry to invest. That's mm. a good one. Yeah. Take great caution so that you do not lose your money. Remember, quick gain is deceptive. Mm. Many have said that if you want to make a million dollars, you have to endure a million dollars worth of pain. Gain usually takes some time. Mm. The first principle of investment is securing the principles of righteousness and honesty. Mm. It's a very key, very key and important point. Yeah. Um, you know, take your time to... Um, do your research very well if you want to invest hmm. and um, you know some uh, get rich quick schemes hmm. 
you know it's when something is promising you um um if you invest um you're getting 95 percent uh, return mm. you know uh, you have to weigh it very well because um if it is too if if it is too good to be true then it's not true <laughs> That's one one of our lecturers I used to say. So if you, if there is anything you're looking at, you say, ah, this thing is too good to be true. Mm. Then it might not really be true. Mm. So we have to be careful. We have to do our research very well, mm -hmm. and then uh, you know take the right decision at the right time, mm. and it will bear the right results. Wow. Okay, moving on. Um, number five. It says analyze your priorities. Discipline yourself to save and invest, and thereby later attain increase, increasing wealth. Mm -hmm. Money cannot quench desires. Only discipline can tame desires. Wow. Um, you see, you know, mm -hmm. most of the things that um, um, we're looking at here, desires. Um, you know, you desire this, you desire that, but do you really need it? Mm -hmm. What difference is it, is it going to make? Mm-hmm. And so it's, it's, it's down to discipline, really. Yeah. Because you make your decisions mm -hmm. that um, um, I'm going to stick to what I'm, I'm able to afford, mm -hmm. um, you know, until I will be able to afford it. Mm -hmm. And then I will go get it if I, if I really need it. Mm. And as a family, these are decisions that um, a husband and a wife, the couple have to you know, be really, really um, uh, together in uh, in doing in making these uh, these tough decisions. Because to be honest with you, these are tough decisions. Mm -hmm. um, it's not um, an easy decision, mm -hmm. but um, it pays off at the end. Yeah, it pays off. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. So uh, the sixth one says, develop a budget and live by it. Mm. A budget defends your priorities from casual wishes, and it helps to differentiate between the two. Mm. Now, budgeting is very, very crucial to succeed. From my own personal experience, mm -hmm. um, when I budget for something, then you have a target. You, you understand what I'm saying? Yes. So you have a target. Yeah. And then you just kind of look, say that you are working towards budget. Mm -hmm. So if per adventure, um, there is an, an eventuality and it exceeds budget, you know that, okay, it's exceeded budget by so, so, so amount. Mm -hmm. And then if you over budgeted mm -hmm. and then you, you kind of celebrate that, you know, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I did, I did very well. Yeah. So, but where there is no budget, you, you, everything is just you, you know the the key things you need. At the end, you might not be able to you 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 find out that uh, you've missed it. Hmm. I give a little a, a, you know a very simple example. For instance, budgeting even up to like going to grocery stores. Mm -hmm. It's always a good idea to have a list. Mm. If you go into the groceries, you have a list of the things you need. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes when you go go out there, there are some uh, uh, sa um, uh, sales mm -hmm. that are very tempting. Mm -hmm. Now it's at the beginning of September. The shops, you know, they 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 they, they, they don't want to keep their goods mm. till next summer, so they want to sell it off mm. because they are very very uh, very very uh, intelligent. I would say mm -hmm. because the, the, that money instead of leaving it in the goods mm. now. Paying for a warehouse to keep them <laughs> for the next six, seven months before summer comes up. And yeah. maybe when next summer comes, those things might be out of fashion. Yeah. So what they do is they just like sell it off to mm. get some money in and mm. reinvest that money mm. before nine months. Mm. So when what we do, we go to the shops, oh, it's 70%. <laughs> you buy it, summer is finished, you might use it for maybe one or two weeks. Winter is here. What do you do? You leave it under your bed. <laughs> you know, so, but if you have a list, then when you go there, it's okay. And sometimes, you, by doing this, when you come back, you now discover, oh, I, did, I forgot to buy salt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Right. Is it, is it, is it, but thought is the thing you really, really need. Need, yeah. Uh, because of one thing or the other, you know, mm. get distracted. You did, you know, yeah. When you mm. come back, now the the key things you need, you might forget. Forget, yeah. So, but if you have your list, you will be focused. That I've got it. I've got this. I've got everything I need. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so number seven it says save for uncertain times such as old age or unexpected circumstances. So as we we you can it's kind of uh, you know the the main the main the crucial point here is save mm. to try to try to save mm. try to save. Yesterday you know when we start when we started you know we were, we were talking about save you, you might be looking at okay maybe when when I have one thousand mm-hmm. dollars when I have one thousand pounds I can save. But Pastor Sunday gave an illustration. It could mm. just be like five pounds a day mm-hmm. or ten pounds a day. Mm-hmm. You know, depending on what you can be able to afford, depending on your income, depending on your own personal circumstances, mm. you make a decision. But the th- good thing, the thing there is the discipline comes mm-hmm. in, the consistency comes in, and then if ev- eventually your 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 s- income is increasing, mm-hmm. then you, you keep on increasing, increasing that way. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. Wow. You see, so it's just forming that habit. Habit, yes. Like this, this, this topic says the culture of savings and investments. It's just mm-hmm. having that that culture, mm-hmm. having that kind of uh, desire, desire of saving, of saving. Yes, the mindset to save, the mindset mm. to to say, okay, I'm good. I'm building something. I'm building my wealth yes. mm. as a family. We're building something. Yeah. So the, that's the key. That we 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 this we we discovered in this book that really prompted us yeah to to, to, share, to it. share it with you. Sorry for that interruption. Okay, <laughs> so the next one says uh, number eight. It said accumulate wealth mm-hmm. first in small amounts, then larger amounts as you learn and become more capable. Your goals should be simple and definite, just like I, as I was saying. Mm. So, um, you just start small, depending on your own. Uh, circumstances, mm-hmm. um, your, your own, you know, salary or income, you know, just start small. Mm. Then as you grow, the whole thing, your portfolio mm. grows with you. Before you know it, you know, it becomes a very, very, uh, very, very good habit. Yeah. And number nine, it says, be focused and concentrate your efforts to acquire more information, new networks, uh, strategies for better service and cheaper and better products. I really wow. like this one. <laughs> this is the one. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. So, yeah. so from my understanding of this, that it's not all the time that a very expensive product does not really, really mean that it is the best product. Hmm. Um. You know, there's a day. There was a day I went to buy something. I think it was a shampoo. Mm. Um, the same make, mm. the same uh, kind of uh, 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 can or, or, or something like that. Mm-hmm. I went to somewhere. They're selling it like for three pound something. Mm. And I went to a one pound shop, and they were selling it for a pound. <laughs> Yeah. You see what I mean? Yeah. It's the same thing. It's yeah. just that the the one pound shop mm-hmm. they have a different philosophy, mm-hmm. business philosophy. Mm-hmm. Their own philosophy is to sell it, make less profit, mm-hmm. but sell more quantity. Mm-hmm. So at the end of the day, by selling larger quantity, mm-hmm. though they are making a very small profit margin, mm-hmm. they still make their profit. Mm-hmm. But some of these supermar- some supermarkets, they have a different philosophy. They could sell one a day, but on that one a day, mm-hmm. all the the all the the problems concerning the shop is on top of that uh, that product. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know? Do you know why I'm laughing? Because I'm guilty of this. I always think that you know, expensive uh, things are you know really good. Best one. quality. Be- best qualities. Um, but you know, I used to you know. Um, I I used to quarrel with my husband <laughs> because of that because <laughs> he always liked the cheap thing. It's not. That <laughs> <cheap>. <laughs> he always tell me that 
It's not because of. Mm. But since I started reading this book, mm. that my mindset just changed. You know, mm. <laughs> I used to like. I used to say uh, all the time. Maybe when we go to shopping, I at times I don't even like it to join me to go to. <laughs> Go for shopping because when we get there, you will just be looking for the cheap one, mm. but I will be looking for the um, you the know, the one. most expensive ones. Mm. But now my mindset is changing. Mm. I don't know if I have anyone like me there. <laughs> <laughs> Carry on, <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's quite interesting. <laughs> So you kind of study it, <laughs> study the something. You know, most times it's not that it's not as if uh, yeah. some they have different different philosophy. Yeah. And then you look at it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it, it, you look at value for money. Yeah. So when you look at it very well. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, you look at the value for money. Mm -hmm. And and even if you if you come to look at it like here we have four seasons. Yes. You have summer, you have winter, you have autumn. Yeah. Uh, and you have spring. So some of the things that you buy, you probably gonna use it for like three months. Yeah. And then look at for children, for instance, the children are growing. I can see some of my son's shoes mm. that we bought, high quality shoes mm. that he bought. Mm. He just <laughs> used them for like three months, <laughs> and they are all there. <laughs> What are you gonna do? It's <laughs> overgrown them. It's overgrown them. Oh my god! It's just. <laughs> but some of them you bought it very expensive. Yeah. But they wear it for like three months. Yes. And they have they've overgrown it, and mm. you just after some time you yeah. maybe take it to all these uh, yeah. charity shops and stuff. Yeah. This book is really changing my mindset. It's interesting. It's yes. very very very. Yes. Very very interesting. He, did, he Pastor Sunday did a wonderful job here. To be honest yes. with you. Mm -hmm. uh, we read, we are reading this book, we are enjoying it together, and we decided that we have yeah. to share this one. Yes, everybody, every family, especially couples, mm. you need this book. Huh? Oh, especially if your wife is like me, eh? <laughs> <laughs> you need this book, you need to buy this book for your wife. <laughs> if your wife so is you like me, that, <laughs> so that you read it together. <laughs> <laughs> okay, carry on. <laughs> uh, okay. So it talks about information, new networks, the information <laughs> that's what we're doing here now. Yeah. To share this the information we get. So as you mm. get it, we share it together. Yeah. And Please feel free to share with other people. Yeah. Okay. If you share, if you yeah. just go to your listen and share, share button, yes. So the share button there, so you can have the, the video can be on your uh, timeline. Yeah, and other people can, can look at it as you, well. You can look mm. at it as well. In that way, we are all growing together. Yeah. You know. Mm. Thank you. Yes, <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Victor, for for, yeah. uh, for reminding us of that. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> Please share. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Victor. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. <laughs> okay. All right, carry on. So number mm -hmm. ten, mm -hmm. it says, "Beware of lending out money." Wow, you are not a bank. <laughs> <laughs> so, do not bring others' burdens on yourself. So, this is a very crucial, crucial, crucial uh, point here. Mm. Um, because I've seen from my own experience, I've seen so many friendships mm. that has been ruined mm. as a result of, oh, I lent him money when he was mm. having some problems and mm. now he refused to pay me. Mm. And then that starts a lot of problems. Mm -hmm. So you just look at what, you know, we have to support each other mm. as friends or families or brothers or sisters. Mm -hmm. But we just look at what you what you are able to, to do to yeah. support someone. Mm -hmm. Um, so something that if he doesn't even pay you, you don't, you don't mind because yes. you kind of, you know, uh, is a, is a gift. Mm -hmm. Don't even bother. Don't mm -hmm. worry about paying me. Yeah. You use this to support yourself. Mm -hmm. That's, uh, 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 you know, mm -hmm. a good thing to, to do. But when you kind of, mm -hmm. your, 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 your main savings or even you may, mm -hmm. maybe something, the money you would use to pay for your school fees. To pay for your children's school fees next mm. month, mm -hmm. and you lend it out to someone, the person promises that uh, he's going to bring it mm. in fifteen days' time. Mm -hmm. You know, m many times it might not come, mm -hmm. and that begins a lot of problem. Wow! 
So Pastor Sunday is very, very right. Mm -hmm. As he said, you are not a bank. So yeah. <laughs> we have to be very... So if you are so blessed mm -hmm. to bless others, Go that's ahead really bless. good. Yeah. You know, bless others, mm -hmm. you know. So that's it really. But don't put yourself in trouble. Okay. You know. <laughs> good, good, good. So that's, that's the... The 10 principles here about mm -hmm. the culture of savings mm -hmm. and investment. Yes. So the next one we are going on to is uh, the principles of wealth creation. Mm -hmm. How do we create wealth? Mm -hmm. And one, number one of the principles, it says, know your passion, mm -hmm. know your love, and know what really gets you excited. Mm -hmm. This is very, 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 very good, mm -hmm. honestly. Mm -hmm. um, knowing your passion, anything you are very passionate about, mm -hmm. that is where your wealth is. Is wow. Exactly. Good to know. Yeah. Anything you're doing that you're passionate about, mm -hmm. that you are doing that you don't even care if, if, if you are being paid, like what, what we're doing now, you know, <laughs> we don't, we know. We don't. We are not being paid for anything or yeah. anything. But you know, we just have this Something passion. Something that you enjoy doing. Uh, we just have this passion to to, to, <laughs> to inform people to make sure that uh, everybody is okay. Everybody is succeeding. It's succeeding, yes. Uh, That's so, the word. You know, you, you don't need to be paid. <laughs> um, you know, um, so something you love we love doing this yes we, we've been together for many years now and god has been blessing us yes and we want to share our experience um with you out there mm -hmm. the young people that are coming up yes you can tap into this yeah you know have a prior knowledge a prior knowledge mm. of living uh, a family life mm -hmm. because there is a huge difference be be between when you are living as a as a bachelor mm -hmm. and then when now you are a married person yeah uh, especially for, for both for men and for women for a man we for when you are married you can just <laughs> come back anytime you like you can you know make a decision anytime, anyhow any you know any way mm -hmm. it suits you but now when you are married you have to know that you are no more single mm. you are now double double as they say mm -hmm. So, yeah, in another school. Yeah, so, <laughs> so we have to, um, you know, kind of make sure you carry everyone along. And then when the children comes, yeah, you know, you're expanding, mm -hmm. you carry everybody along, and you have a happy home. Yes. Um, number two, it says study hard and obtain the best knowledge possible in your area of calling. Study hmm. hard. Hmm. You see, um, we really need to... Mm -hmm to study hard mm -hmm. um, um thank you very much for joining in thank, thank you, you. <laughs> Ned Yoga. thank you very much thank you so much my dear friend thank you vanessa <laughs> thank you victor yeah thank you thank you thank you all all of you that are joining in yeah and uh, we appreciate you thank yes. you very much yeah so we need to study and then when it comes to studying hard there are so many distractions, especially hmm. these days. The television is number one. Hmm. Um, because it's easy to say, well, we need to study hard, but there are so many distractions. Yes. And so we have to take care of the distractions. I remember those days, in the advent of uh, uh, home movies, uh, you will sit down in the hmm. sofa, <laughs> watch part one, <laughs> And then they say, look out for part two. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> so you, 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 you they, they run their ads. You've spent about an hour and a half or two hours. They run their ads. And then you, you, you are eager to see, let's see what's going to happen. Hey, second, 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 part two, part two. I can't miss this one. Hmm. Then they start again. They run another two hours. Hmm. Plus the first one, that's about four hours. Yes. Because of, and then sometimes they even do part three. Hmm. So as if they they do season one, season two, three, you know. So. So this is this is so with that. If you already spent um, five hours, hmm. or six hours, or four hours hmm. in just sitting down and watching uh, 
the move home movies. Mm. I have 24 hours in a day. Mm. And out of that 24 hours, about 12 is night. Mm. You, you, you find out that one third of, of the, the, the 24 hours have been spent on. Wow. I'm guilty of that, to be honest. <laughs> mm. Mm. I'm guilty of that, but mm. thank God for this book. This book is really changing me. It's really changing my mentality. Yeah, I can see that. You know, <laughs> so you can testify. <laughs> so you need to get this book. If you're a couple out there, you need to get this book. Have fun, read together as a couple, do things together. Yeah. You know, it's really, it's really good. It keeps your marriage healthy. It keeps your relationship intact, you know, be good friends, you know, together. So, you know, <clears throat> for me, I can't read this book alone and enjoy it. But when I'm reading it with him, oh my God, I enjoy it very well, to be honest. So that's why I'm recommending it for couples, mm -hmm. you know, buy this book, read it with your family, read it with your children. It will really, really pay you a yeah. lot yeah you know reading together as a couple you know you know brings you together you know that bond yeah. it brings you together you reason together yeah. and in that way your mindset is is um changing yeah. just like i told you before yeah. my mindset is changing yeah. because i'm guilty of all these things yeah. to be honest yeah, exactly yeah. victor is saying that <coughs> conversation is the key exactly yes. conversation exactly yeah but victor you, you are very right yeah, yeah. conversation you, mm -hmm. you you know you discuss things mm -hmm. you don't carry things in the mind and mm -mm. walking around mm -mm. Mm -mm. Uh, if there's anything, just mm -hmm. on a very, you know, look at the right time mm -hmm. to open up a conversation. Yes. If the temperature is still very high, mm -hmm. uh, because sometimes the temperature mm -hmm. is high. <laughs> 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 so, <laughs> so when the temperature is at 100 degrees <laughs> boiling point, you don't need to, yeah. to open up a conversation. So yeah. you let it drop. Mm. When the, when the temperature drops, mm -hmm. then you can be able to have yeah. a productive, very productive discussion. and effective mm. uh, discussion together that we yield fruit. Fruit, yeah. Um, yeah. So you are very right, my brother. Yeah. Thank you for that. <laughs> Thank you so much, Victor. Um. So <clears throat> you have to study hard, make our time. Take away all the distractions. Mm -hmm. Try to be consistent, like Pastor said in the in the other part of the consistency. Anything mm -hmm. we're doing mm -hmm. in taking these bold steps, mm -hmm. um, consistency is the key. Mm -hmm. So if you are consistent, know that even if it's one hour, mm -hmm. even if it's two hours, but mm -hmm. you know that each day I'm spending this amount of time mm -hmm. towards what I want to do. If mm -hmm. you want to research about it, if you want to read books about it, if mm -hmm. you want to go online to search for them mm -hmm. on websites or go to the library, you, you have so many uh, avenues to mm -hmm. actually research and get the proper information, the mm -hmm. necessary information mm -hmm. that will guide you towards what you really, what you're passionate about mm -hmm. and what you want to do. Yes. yes. Okay. Um, number four. Number three, say look for opportunities to build great relationships. Like we said before, look for opportunities. And uh, in in this, mm -hmm. one key thing is uh, integrity. Wow. Integrity. Exactly. Um, <clears throat> um, you know, you have to be 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 honest. Hmm. Honesty is very very it pays. Because you don't know who knows, who knows, who knows, who knows. Hmm. Something good might be coming your way. Someone might, might have hmm. maybe a good business or something like that coming. And he hmm. may be somebody that he knows. Mm -hmm. He might just like want to ask, oh, I'm going to do this, this, with this. Ah, hmm. that boy, that man, that girl, that woman, please mm -hmm. don't try it. So this, look at what he did to me. Mm -hmm. But you don't even know. That it is because of what has what happened mm. that is blocking the way. The way, yeah. So it's always good to maintain your integrity, mm. maintain your honesty. Mm -hmm. Let your yes be yes. Let mm -hmm. your no be no. Yes. And the moment you are known with that, mm -hmm. you know, you, you, when it is God's time for you to excel, you will excel. Oh yes. Nothing will stop you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 
you see so yeah. the building relationships mm -hmm. it might not be that person mm -hmm. it might be that person you know is 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 somebody is asking for mm. i need to do this mm -hmm. you know oh go and meet so so and so yeah honesty yeah so it's is very very important mm -hmm. in building relationships yes um, trust yeah that's honesty, exactly yeah. trust trust People will not yeah. trust you trust you can be you know at times you know you ask yourself, can people trust me? Can somebody trust you, you know, in doing business, maybe with you, partnering with you and all that? Trust is the key and being, you know, faithful mm -hmm. and honest is very good, you know. So, but when, because when you are honest, people can be able to trust you. Exactly. If maybe... If people don't trust you on the smaller things, they can't even trust you the on bigger the bigger ones. ones. Yeah. So trust, you know, live a life of trust, no matter what. Mm -hmm. Anybody you have, you know, anything to do with, mm -hmm. make sure you leave a good mark. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. Make sure you leave a good mark, no matter what. At mm -hmm. times you need to swallow your pride yeah. to be able to obtain that trust yeah. and that... Uh, um, you know how do you say it again that integrity, integrity yeah, 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 honesty, and yeah, honesty yeah. yeah exactly yeah and sometimes it might not even be you it might not even it might be, be you, your yeah. children they say yes. oh is that the son of of so, this so, 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 yeah what whatever you she needs yeah give it give to it him. yes because yes. the father have done you mm. know my father used to say that good name is better than riches riches hmm good name is better than riches. than riches yes so maybe because of you know the good things that the father have done mm. everything is not money everything is not money so huh. it might not even be you it might be mm. your children it might be your younger ones mm -hmm. somebody just because of your name that mm -hmm. was mentioned they say well don't worry i can about trust it. this he person is, if his father yeah. is this he is going to be all right mm. wow interesting Okay. okay, that's some building relationships and yeah. opportunities. Yeah. And number four says, make sure you are seeking to resolve problems mm. and give good service. Mm -hmm. Think of, <clears throat> excuse me, whom your knowledge can benefit mm. and render your services to them. Mm -hmm. Make sure you can offer something to the people you know. Mm. Focus on helping each person to resolve at least one problem. Wow. So we try to, to, mm -hmm. to, to contribute, to make a difference in somebody's life. Mm -hmm. Solve problems. Do your best. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. uh, before you know it, mm -hmm. by solving problems, mm -hmm. at the long run, it might be going to yield money. Yeah, it's true. It's true. It's true. Okay. So we'll go to number five. He said, find out how much money and how many properties you have and turn everything into investments or assets mm. so investment is the key mm -hmm. investment by the time you start investing your money mm -hmm. that's where money begins to to work for you okay and number six so make sure to keep some part of your earnings for the future mm -hmm. so you don't eat everything don't finish everything mm -hmm. no matter how small your income is mm -hmm. be this be discipline yourself and uh, you know, out of out of that, even out of that little, mm -hmm. get some out. Mm -hmm. The the untouch, I would say the untouchable ones. Mm -hmm. uh, you, know, you don't, you, no matter what, mm -hmm. you don't uh, you don't touch. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Sister Patricia, <laughs> joining in. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank uh, you, Ma. Ms. Eva, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank Sister you, Jeanette. Jeanette. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. Uh, thank you. In, thank you. <laughs> Yeah. Um, number seven say make sure that you invest ten to thirty percent of all your earnings in bracket fifty percent if possible. Hmm. This is this is gracious, man. Hmm. So just make sure. Start small, like we said. Mm -hmm. Start small, but uh, Pastor Sunday says at least ten percent. Ten percent. Make yes. sure that at least ten percent of your income mm -hmm. set aside for the rainy day mm -hmm. for your investment for the future mm -hmm. that is the one you're paying yourself mm -hmm. pay yourself first mm -hmm. number eight cut down on your expenses and invest the rest wow you know 
look at look for every avenue to cut down on expenses mm -hmm. unless it is uh, absolutely necessary mm -hmm. uh -huh. so those ones that you are investing they are like yesterday we talked about compound interest mm -hmm. so the, you invest it they now yield money mm -hmm. they yield money and it continues to grow yes make sure you have uh, a mentor find competent people who can lead you in the process of wealth creation hmm. so you see when we when we appreciate others yes there's something i found in the world that um people kind of have a sort of resentment for people that are that are successful hmm. or that have succeeded mm -hmm. but my own philosophy is that when I see somebody doing well, I am happy. Yes, that's it. Um, I rejoice <laughs> for a good thing that is happening to someone else. Mm -hmm. And then, because I know mm -hmm. that my own, if it hasn't happened, it's on the way. Yes. yes. Um, so, by so doing, that's why when you can be able to um, appreciate what what someone have achieved, mm -hmm. Um, promote them if possible. Like yes. you know, we 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 we've seen that from the illustration, from the examples that Pastor Sunday gave, how he started mm -hmm. back home uh, and everything, mm -hmm. and how God have lifted him. Mm -hmm. He shared everything in this book, mm -hmm. and then we are very happy yeah. that you know you know God has been able to turn his life around in yes. that way, yeah. and he he put down some good principles here. Yeah. And then we have seen it and we say, well, it's good we share it. Yes. So that everyone else we can, benefit. can benefit from it. Mm -hmm. We're promoting the good work he did. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And then, um, you know, God will promote us as well. Yeah. As we are promoting <laughs> others, yes, God so, is promoting. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So mm -hmm. we, we promote ourselves. When we see others doing well, mm -hmm. being successful, yeah. be we, happy. we are happy. You yeah. are be happy. Rejoice with yes. them. Yes. Uh, you know, and then you know that's when they, you can be able to mm -hmm. make them to be your mentor. Because if you are jealous of someone that is successful, mm -hmm. you wouldn't even want to to that uh, spirit of jealousy and enviousness will not allow the person to come to to humble himself to ask him, my brother, how did you do it? Yes, it's my true. sister, how wh what's this? How are you succeeding? Yeah. What's the secret behind your success yes. at home, in marriage, yeah. in your studies, mm -hmm. in your business, in your mm -hmm. uh, career, in mm -hmm. all these things, mm -hmm. you know. So, but when we, we, we are happy mm -hmm. about what the president, you can be able to come, you know, yeah. hey, this, how is this going? Mm -hmm. And before you know it, some have put in down, right, written down some books about their journey. Mm -hmm. Then you can pick the book and then from there... Yeah. You know, everything will turn around. So it's very, very, it's a very, very key, it's a very, very key, uh, key point, number nine. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we go to number 10. It's a reach for success by uh, developing your passions, your desires, and drive to make money. Like we talked about passions before, mm -hmm. your desires. And 11, you say, go to know the laws of money mm -hmm. and follow them. Money comes to those who understand it. Mm. The laws of money say in this book, we will come to that and we will talk about it very, very well. Yes. And number 12, he said, know that self-discipline is the greatest asset mm. and the number one rule of wealth creation. Mm -hmm. To create lasting wealth, you must be able to master and discipline yourself mm -hmm. so that you can adequately follow the laws of money mm -hmm. and wealth creation. Mm -hmm. So it, it comes down to discipline. Mm. To discipline yourself, mm -hmm. um, take the right decisions, mm -hmm. um, let go of certain things, um, you know, uh, no matter how tantalizing, how tempting, mm -hmm. how, you know, they might have promoted, mm -hmm. promoted the something, mm -hmm. but if you don't really need it, mm -hmm. you can do without it. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Excellent. Wow. <laughs> so we are going to run through the practical wisdom for aspiring millionaires. Like I said, when he, the, in, the, in, the, in the introductory part of the book, he talks about being a millionaire 
mm. that everyone can become a millionaire mm. and we are looking forward to that yes. and we know that you are looking forward <laughs> to it as well yes. so let's do this together yes let's do it let's do it together yeah yes my sister <laughs> let's do it together let's do it together <laughs> Um, in, a, in in some months and years to come, we will be, you know, saying how how we have gone so far yes. as we, you know, curtail so many things. Mm. Because when we talked about the the cup of coffee yesterday, yes. that was mind blowing. Yes, how just a cup of coffee and the I muffin. really stopped that, you know. Mm. Yeah, you see. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going, I'm going to save my one pound, one, one pound, one five, pound five, one pound fifty, and the muffin oh, and the chewing gum. Before you know it, it's five pounds. I'm saving it now. You see? Uh, so, before you know it, uh, mm -hmm. in, uh, in a week it's thirty-five, five, five pounds. Yes. Five times five, mm -hmm. twenty-five times seven, that's thirty-five. Five, mm -hmm. five pounds in seven days is thirty-five pounds. Wow! In, hmm. in one week. So that's how he calculated it. Mm -hmm. And before you know it, a huge amount of money is coming out. It's coming out yes. So we're going to go through the practical wisdom for aspiring millionaires. Mm. Number one, successful financial life begins with a successful saving mentality. Mm. It's a strong one. So the whole thing is building that mentality, building the philosophy of mm. saving. Mm -hmm. Um, by the time you build it, it, mm. it might be difficult at the initial time. That's mm -hmm. what we're saying about, you know, you it, it, just start small mm -hmm. and then from there, mm -hmm. you begin to, to grow. Mm -hmm. you, know, you know, you know, savings mm. is very sweet. Yeah. Maybe, for example, you started saving like 10 pounds or whatever mm -hmm. currency you are using. Yeah. Maybe in a month, you just check what you have. Yeah. Oh my God, it gives joy. Yeah. You know, so it's always good to, it's hard to start, to start yeah. but it's good. You know, you will smile at the end. Yeah. That's the, that's the thing. Yeah. You know, so yeah. let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So number two is safe to invest in your future. So that's it. Yesterday we talked about uh, the differences in like in savings accounts and uh, mm -hmm. in, and uh, in, um, um, fixed deposit account. Yes. So if if you decide to like fix that money for maybe twelve months or twenty four months, mm -hmm. you have a, a bigger you know the interest rate is higher mm -hmm. compared to a savings account where they pay you zero point zero something mm -hmm. percent interest. Mm -hmm. But the the discipline here is that that money, mm -hmm. even if you haven't got money to buy bread in the morning or yeah. buy. Uh, a milk yeah you can't withdraw it yes. so it's there it's like in is prison this... yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that money is gonna is in is in a in a finance i would call it financial imprisonment for 24 <laughs> months nobody is touching it wow uh, so, so, yeah okay okay so number three is uh, one of the keys to saving is never to spend on what you can do without hmm. Hmm. this is a very interesting one yeah Whatever you can do without, mm -hmm. don't go spend money on it. Mm -hmm. uh, there are so many things that, uh, you know, mm. you, you might not really need, but you just want to mm -hmm. uh, to do it. Mm -hmm. So if you can save money if, if you get from, from that until you really need them, mm -hmm. that would be very, very, very good. Yeah. And number four says uh, you either waste money spend money mm. or invest money mm. okay mm -hmm. then he went further pastor sunday went for further and he says that fools waste money mm -hmm. the mediocre spend money mm -hmm. and the wise invest money mm. so there are three categories here mm -hmm. the fools they waste money mm -hmm. the mediocre spend money mm -hmm. and the wise invest money mm -hmm. so we have to be wise wow so we invest money yes we can right. do it. We can do it. If we think it, we can, can do, do it. it. Yeah. Yeah. And you go ahead and say. Number eight, hmm. investments become your future and assets. Mm -hmm. Number nine, fight against pride in your life. Oh, that's the thing. Hmm. Hmm. And number ten, always recognize the fact that we are only the managers and trustees of God's property. property. 
Okay, friends. <laughs> so that's where we are going to draw the curtain for today. Yes. And uh, next time we are going on kingdom principles mm -hmm. from chapter one, yes. and there are ten keys there. Mm. Um, so we and then we go to money does not make you rich. Wow, that is what made the title of the book. Yes. So we want to thank you all for, for joining. joining in today. Yeah. Uh, please share this with uh, your friends so yes. that and if you share it, it can be on your timeline so that you can as well. Um, go over go right again if you need to uh -huh. okay yes okay can we read what our friends are saying okay yeah, yeah. okay so that's uh, <laughs> our sister patricia says please hey, tell us love. just tell us what you think about this video and you know yeah, Just if you have any any contribution, <laughs> any review, or your anything own you want to personal experience, yeah, contribute. contribution. Yes, yeah, highly feel, feel free to yes. drop it down. Yeah. Um Juliet says uh, words of wisdom. Yes. Yeah. Thank you more very much. Yeah. And Victor says uh, conversation is the key. Yes. yes. Conversation, especially for mm. for couples. Yeah. Okay, and that's uh, maybe okay. I'll go. Okay, it may be my EP baby and hobby. Well done. <laughs> Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very uh, much, Neda. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you that's all for it. joining. Yeah. Okay. Thanks okay, so much. Somebody's writing. Let's see. Okay. Okay. My sister, Sister Patricia, is saying true talk. Yeah, well, well done, done guys. Yeah. Thank you so Thank much, you. Ma. <laughs> Amy, no. Amen. Sister Patricia, okay. Sister Patricia went ahead and Thank comment you, again. Man. Wow, thanks for sharing. I've I have gained a lot from, gained this, a lot of, from, this, from this book. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. So Thank feel you. free to grab your copy. Mm -hmm. This book is at Amazon. Amazon yeah. Money won't make you rich. And I'll cut a book. Yeah. So I think you should like maybe um your friends. You can buy this book as a gift yeah. to friends, yeah. family, your husband, your mm -hmm. wife, yeah. you know, your children. As well, yeah. Yeah, the yeah. young people. Yeah. I think young people need this book much mm -hmm. because now we are growing older. Mm -hmm. But they are young. They yeah. can start, you know, early. Yeah, yeah. I wish we saw this, this book yeah. when we are maybe 10 years 10 ago. 10 years ago. Ah, oh. Yeah. You know, so what we are learning now, but no time is... Every it's never too now. late, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. so mm. let's make this opportunity. Mm -hmm. Use this wonderful opportunity. Yeah. Thank you all so much. Thanks very much. We love you. We love you. Stay blessed. Stay blessed. Bye. See, See you, you next again. time. Bye. 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 We love you.